What's up guys? Welcome to this episode of Mike Life. Today I'm going to give you guys a tour of my pressure washer setup. So starting from up top, we do have the active pressure washer, my favorite pressure washer for washing cars. You're going to get about almost 2.0 GPMs of water with this pressure washer. We do have a stainless steel shelf. Pressure washer I got from Obsessed Garage. Amazon also sell these. Shelf was from Amazon. Under it I have Cox hose reel, which I got off Amazon. Over here we have this hose. This is the new OG hose from Obsessed Garage. Love this hose. This thing is awesome. My favorite hose. I have plenty of hoses that I've used. This is the best. Much better than that hose right there. Awesome hose. Got it all set up. It's a 50 foot hose. Under it, I do have my CR Spotless, which I also got from Obsessed Garage. This is for deionizing water. Prevents water spots on the vehicle. Over here, I have a Mosmatic wand holder, which holds my pressure washer gun. This is the MTM. I think it's the SGS 28 with the wand on there. I do have links of this in the description. Over here I have my garden hose setup. Over here is the draft tools uh, pressure washer, the wall mount that I just did a review for this. Then over here I have bucket filler number one and bucket filler number two. So basically what I've done here is this is an obsessed garage setup, pressure washer setup, and I added my twist. So I'm just adding more stuff to it. I think it just looks great with the dual bucket fillers. I still gotta get the buckets. I'm planning on getting the obsessed garage bucket system to have over here. One's gonna be filling up the wash water and the other one could be filling up the rinse water. Basically at the same time, it just saves me time. Why not? So the hoses, like these here, do you see? Home Depot hoses, I just got all the attachments. You gotta go and just mess around with all the fittings they have there to transfer it to, uh, to be a hose bib fittings, you know, for garden hose fittings. That's what you gotta do here for both ends. Same thing here, water feed for the pressure washer, quick connects on there, elbow, all, a lot of this stuff I did get from uh, Home Depot, Quick Connects are all from Obsessed Garage. These are all MTM Quick Connects. Also did the same thing here. This Quick Connect though is not from Obsessed Garage. I think I got this off of Amazon. We're using all PEX tubing all around here. Looks pretty nice. Came out good. Over here for the uh, CR Spotless, what we did was we have a bypass system going on here. So right now this is open. So it's feeding straight water from the RO system into everything. But if I want to, I shut this off and then I turn this side on and this side on. And now the water is just gonna feed straight through the CR Spotless. So I can have deionized water, which I only use when I'm rinsing off the vehicle. I'll only activate this. It's a waste to use it to wash the car in my opinion. Especially if you have pretty good water, I have an RO system here so the water is not bad so only use this for rinsing off the car then over here I have some of my testing tools this is for me to test the PSI on different pressure washers and this here is one of my nozzles that I've made so I've been making my own nozzles this is all from MTM all the pieces and I just assemble and make my own nozzle this one here is a, if I'm not mistaken this is a 40 degree 3.5 orifice nozzle that I have inside here and then I have on the pressure washer there I think I have the 25 degree so 40 degree and 25 degree so I've made two of them nice I like them better than regular because what happens is when you're washing your car you don't want the plastic part I'll give you an example that right here touching your vehicle by mistake so this protects it it's rubber so you do have protection so this way you don't scratch your vehicle so I like these things here I also have another one that I did purchase off of Obsessed Garage, they also sell them, which I have in my New York garage. And then over here we have the Draft Tools wall mounted pressure washer. I do have a full review for this. And I, like I said in the video, I added some of the connections here to give it my own little uh, twist for this. Now, what used to happen here was the water used to come through that opening there, come down, and feed here to go outside. So I had originally tapped into it where I came across and I had my other pressure washer system. The, the, the design changed from the last time I had done a video. I think uh, in one of my video, actually I'll flash a picture up right now so you guys can see it. And what I've done is I disconnected the water and I have a coupling and I extended it to come out from this side. So the water feeds down here. I do have a shuttle valve there, comes down to this hose bib over here to the bucket filler to all of this stuff here, the CR spotless. And then I have another shutoff valve here. This shuts off water that goes up to both pressure washers. So I have shutoff valve there, shutoff valve there. I could also shut off right here to shut off just this whole side if I wanted to. So I have different options of shutting off the water here. And then what I did was I came across and went into the old pipe. 
which goes outside because outside this wall there is a hose bib and then that opening that was up in that ceiling where the water used to come down i ran electric ran power here for this pressure washer and i also ran another line here because i'm going to put a lift master garage door opener up here eventually so i added a line here and i have everything all on a, the same 20 amp circuit reason being is i'm never going to open up the garage door while I'm using a pressure washer, makes no sense. And I'll never use both pressure washers at the same time. So everything being on a dedicated 20 amp circuit will be fine as long as obviously you only use one pressure washer at a time. And then here I've added my Husky wall shelf. Looks pretty sweet. I'm planning on adding another one right over here. And I'm thinking about moving this pressure washer, putting it in the back of the house because I'm planning on putting a little sink. I have a low profile sink that I want to put there so I could be able to fill my uh, foam guns and just rinse my hands if I need to, instead of running in the house if I have soap in my hands or using a pressure washer to rinse my hands or to grab this and rinse my hands and get water all over the floor. I'm gonna have put a little sink over here and then I'm gonna put a couple of shelves right up here just to have product. So I think that's gonna be what I'm gonna change and mount this in the backyard. When I do mount this in the backyard, we'll do a video on that. And another addition I added was this hose reel, which I did purchase off Amazon. It did come with the blue hose. Then I purchased this extension piece blue hose separately. And then I have my cobalt air compressor here. It's an eight gallon air compressor. It does the job fine. I get no leaks or nothing. I got this gun here, which I use to blow out the, out of the crevices, uh, water, or if I'm doing anything inside the car, if I want to get dust out of the cracks or from the air vents, I just blow some air with this. Got a little rubber protection on the front. This thing has been working out great for me. And then over here, I have my Husky cabinets. Over there, I'm planning on taking those red shelves out and putting more cabinets. I want to extend, I want to have this whole wall with cabinets here. Also got this, this is one of them Husky uh, tables. It's almost like one of those t desks that you could lift up. It has a crank right over here. You crank it up and you could lift the table up and lift it down. Very nice. This is, has been a lifesaver for me inside the garage. And then I have my detailing stuff inside here. I keep all my towels and stuff, foam cannons, my vacuum inside here. This one here, I keep some detailing products. Inside here is gonna be like this random spray paint screws, stuff like that inside there, the usual garage stuff. I have my paper towel holder, which I got from Harbor Freight, my glove holder, Harbor Freight, my detailing light, nice countertop here. This is the sink. This is the low profile sink that I'll be putting up over there, which I'll be doing a video on this. Then I have lots of tools inside here. And inside this cabin, I keep all my power tools, battery charger. So I got the battery charger right there. And then inside here, some power tools. More up on top. Over here is going to be my leaf blower, which is the Ryobi leaf blower. This thing sucks. I need to get an Ego leaf blower here, the same one that I have in New York. I got to get one here too. And I keep some empty bags and stuff. Yeah, it's not completely done the garage. I'm still trying to figure out everything. I got to get rid of this area here, do something different over here. And something with the flooring, I'm thinking about doing some Swiss tracks flooring here. I know Obsessed Garage sells them. They look awesome. Thinking about doing that. Then on the ceiling, I'm going to add a little bit. I need some more lighting, especially over here and a little bit more over here. I haven't decided yet what I'm gonna do. I might change this lighting because I don't like the way it's set up right now. So I'm gonna redo the lighting and then I'm gonna do on the ceiling is instead of painting the ceiling, I'm gonna put uh, the foam, black foam, like soundproofing. Soundproofing to prevent echoing from happening because obviously this is a garage and I get echo. I like recording videos inside the garage, you know, for the channel, for the Mike Life channel. Recording my videos, I want the sound quality to be a little better than what it is. And I'm also gonna be insulating the garage doors so that's also going to help with the echo once the insulation goes on here and I did add air conditioning I added some vents I got one there and one right there and controller for the damper and the thermostat we're still working on it they're having a hard time getting the dampers to work with this so I kind of regret doing this I'm thinking about getting a mini split one of those Mr. Cool mini splits and putting it right there right up on this wall, but it's perfect. The other side of that wall is where my air conditioning unit, the side of the house. So that'd be a perfect spot for the mini split. We'll see, right now money is a little tight. It would cost me probably to buy the unit for inside here. 
I would install it myself. It's gonna cost me about $2,000. Yeah, well, don't know what I'm gonna do there yet. I tried going the cheaper way. We'll see how this works by adding the duct work that I did in here with the damper. Hopefully it works out. And there you go, that was my garage setup. If you guys got any questions, leave them down below. I'll try to answer them the best I can. And let me know if you guys have setups in your garage, cabinets, pressure washer setups like this. Yeah, just let me know what you guys, what stuff you guys like to have inside your garage. And I'll have links to everything I discussed down below for you guys to check them out. And once again, thank you all for watching this episode of Mike Life.